and welcome back to more Family Comp Detective Club, The Missing Heir. Well, last time we <laughs> learned a whole lot of stuff over the course of like five minutes, and we didn't get a whole lot of elaboration on. And we learned that Yuri was uh, that Yuri did live in Yatsuka Village, but that she died, that she burned to death in a fire, but that she also had a kid, but the kid survived and went to go live with someone else who had an orphanage who also died, and the kid ran off. So <laughs> this. The plot thickens, as it were, so let's just keep on uh, going on. We're at the newspaper archive with Kumada, or at least that's where we're headed now. This must be the newspaper, the, this must be the newspaper publisher the doctor was talking about. I sure hurry to the archive room. I, I'm sure this can only go well. Dr. Kumada, sorry for getting back so late, so did you find anything interesting? He's asleep, he's asleep. He is asleep. So let's just wake him up. Or it's not gonna work. Doctor, did you hear what I said? It, no, he's clearly asleep. Uh, do I have to keep doing this? Oh, good lord. Do I have to. Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna have to keep doing this over and over again. Oh, great. Now we have uh, fun, fun, fun. Hey, Dr. Kamada, are you okay? Doctor, he's just asleep. I mean, he probably should have woken up by now, but he's, he's, he's not. He's not dead. Doctor, please answer me. He's just asleep. I really, I really have to do that. How many times? Is this like the fourth time I've hit the button? Dr. Kamada, hey. Ah, there we go. Fifth time's the charm. What? What do you want, damn it, kid? You're so noisy. Okay, bitter old man. You scared me. Don't do that. I thought you were... No, I, I don't know why you thought he was dead. I was what? Come on, the legendary detective Kamada is invincible. Which which of those statements do I attack first? Which, which one's more wrong? Oh, Lord almighty. <sighs> sure, anyways, Doctor, did you figure anything out? I was just looking into it. I guess I dozed off. So you were sleeping. Man, I got worried for nothing. Yes, yes, you did. He was very clearly just asleep. But, uh, okay. That uh, that was fun, pressing the same button five times in a row. That, that was pretty neat. Alright, uh, talk to him. Let's. I guess we'll bring up the issue of Kumada. Uh, since, you know, I, um, since I, I want to know why you're here at all. I was looking things up, but I dozed off. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. We know what he's doing here, but we, we want to know what specifically he's looking for, what he found out, if anything. That's why I wanted to talk to say about Kamada, but that didn't get us anywhere. So do you know anything? What did you know? Have you learned anything? Have, have you found a similar case? Just look at all these documents. I'm fed up, to be honest with you. I fell asleep the moment I cracked up in the first file. There, I've said it. Are you shocked yet? Uh, no. Not at all, actually. I, uh, you don't necessarily seem like a very, uh, very dedicated person, I'll say. For lack of a better term, you don't seem you don't seem too too eager about doing what's what's the word uh, work. That's what I'm that's what I'm looking for. Some legendary detective. Sorry, but will you help me with these documents? I can't get through them all alone. You couldn't even get through one by yourself. Fine, let's get started. Okay, so do we have to look at all the things? Uh, all right, let's let's start looking around. Uh, we have. Do, do I have to actually check the shelves? Oh Lord Almighty, I'm gonna have to check. Every single one. Oh, Christ almighty. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Is, is there anything, is, is it just all documents? Is there nothing that stands out? Okay, uh, I guess we'll just check them all. Uh, literature, it's not gonna get us anywhere. No, no, don't, don't check us anything again. How about these, what are these about? Oh, this, reminds me, this reminds me of the, of the library from 999, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Where I just had to check every single goddamn bookcase until I eventually found something. Oh no, not again. Not again. Economics, okay, it's not getting us anywhere. How about here? Uh, documents pertaining to murder. Well, it sure are a lot of cases. Okay, well, can we can we check these some more? No? I, I guess not, okay. Um, this shelf seems to be archives and newspaper articles. Okay, well, can I check? Can I... Is, is there an option? Uh, oh wait, take. Uh, take what? Uh, maybe I can take these? Take these documents? None of these articles seem but what? They are about murder! What do you mean? They're, they're literally about murder. They're, they're, we're, we're dealing with a murder case here, buddy. We're, we're dealing with a, we're dealing with a freaking murder case. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? What? Oh, that what you, what? Oh, this, this one we can take? Okay. Hey, Dr. Kamada, check this out. Uh, did you find something? I found something about a cyanide compound on this page. Right here, let me read it. If you make a cyanide compound, combine it with certain chemicals, then apply heat to it. A poisonous gas, hydrogen cyanide, will be emitted. 
This gas can kill a person within minutes if they inhale a large quantity of it. Since cyanide compounds are undetectable from the corpses of people who die from this gas, it is near impossible to prove it as a cause of death. Doctor, this is... Yes, now that's a useful clue. Would have been real helpful if you could have detected exactly what type of... Whether it actually would match up when you did your autopsy, but you aren't very competent at your job, so... We're not gonna get that. Anyway, um... Can we talk to you about what we just found out? You know what, I feel like I've heard about the gas before. I heard that even if you die from the gas, nothing can be detected from the body. Yes, that would be what we just heard about two seconds ago. If we want to prove that Jiro died from this gas, we need to figure out how the culprit made Mahal inhale so much of it. But knowing this alone is a game changer, let's call it a day. If we learned one thing, and now we're gonna call it quits. Cool. Let's go back to the clinic then. And... Summarize what we've learned thus far about the... Okay, that, that section was kinda dumb. Uh, having to check every single individual bookshelf and then just like finding the one book because it felt like I that felt like what we had to do right we had to just check every single individual book or at least each shelf within the bookcases to see which one was correct that's kind of annoying especially when I, I I clicked on the one that said these are all about murder and it's like oh well we're investigating a murder case that makes sense and then it's like nah you gotta find a specific book it's kind of kind of annoying we're finally back I'm sure we'll need to go back there at some point oh well, I'm sure we will but for now we're at the Kamada Clinic Hello? Doctor, where were you all this time? I had to close the clinic and send all the patients home. Yeah, what a- by the way, what a dick. Like, imagine- you'd think- you would presume that these people would actually be here for, like, important appointments and all that. Like, I'm, I'm sure some will be just, you know, the yearly checkup or whatever. But most- I, I imagine there's people here that, who are, like, who are sick or injured and they need you as- as their doctor, and they're just like, nah, I'm going- I'm gonna go play Blue's Clues, see you later. Ugh. I'm going home. The investigation is a detective's job, not a doctor's. Can't you just focus on your job? Once again, the nurse proves that she's actually competent and knows what she's talking about. Whereas this doctor's just like higgledy piggledy. I I thought it was a ner I thought it was a knife that killed him, but clearly it wasn't. I thought it was a suicide, but maybe it wasn't. You you suck so bad. Wow, how can you be so rude? To oh my God, come on, get your head out of your ass. <sighs> Anyway, why don't you and I talk? Detective, de you're not a detective. Sure, let's go through all the information we have so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we were focusing on Jiro here. Someone witnessed two silhouettes on the hillside the night Jiro died. From what I heard, one seemed unconscious. They were being dragged by the other person. The witness thinks that Kiwi came back and killed Jiro, which didn't happen. That's ridiculous. If the dead could have resurrected, why would we need hospitals? But it seems like there's a chance someone witnessed Jiro's body being carried. Yes, that's exactly what was happening. Um, this is pointless, but I'll ask anyway. Uh, Doctor, I want to ask you about the Kazuto Ayashiro. Ah, yes, I forgot to ask. Who, what, who is it that told you about Kazuto? Well, I met a woman named Yukiko Fujimiya who claims to be Kazuto's fiance. What? She, was she pretty? Yeah, she was pretty. Do you know something about her? Nope, just curious. I'd love to meet her, especially she's that... Oh my Jesus Christ. Do, can you all name a qualifier of her that isn't just boiling her down to... Oh, she's pretty. She, she's pretty attractive. Okay, cruel. Cool. Anything else? Uh, well, I mean, she's pretty attractive. It's like, alright, great, cool. It, moving on. Uh, okay. You do you, buddy. Uh, I guess I'll, I, I made a mistake asking that. Focus on the cyanide. Do you think Jiro died from the gas emitted from cyanide? Of course he did. I, I can't say for sure at this point, and besides, yeah, but you, you can never say for sure about anything because you're terrible at your job. Even if Jiro died from the gas, the real question is, why was the cyanide detected on his fingers? There has to be a missing piece. Uh, maybe he ate something that had it in it? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Anything else you know? Uh, have you noticed anything else? Hmm, nothing in particular. So that lady you mentioned, Yukiko was it? Is she always at that cliff? Yes, apparently she spends her whole life there. Not always, I heard she tends to show up there around 5 p.m. That's right, about now. Assistant, let us make contact with the hottie. With, with the hottie? <sighs> your, your new name is Dr. Hottie. What? Shouldn't we head over to the cliff soon? We? Wait, you can stay here and, I don't know, focus on your patience. You have a job to be doing, and so do I, and our jobs do not coalesce at this exact moment. Are you really going? Of course, the meaning beautiful woman is this- Oh, Jesus Christ almighty, you suck so much. So bad. Oh, God almighty. Okay. Top of the cliff. Well, I'm here now with one additional passenger. Kamada dragged me out here, but there's not even a hint of someone person on here on the cliff. Yeah, she probably has, a, has the has the wits about her to stay the hell away whenever this douchebag shows up. So where is she? I don't know. I guess she's not around today. 
Uh, wow, what a terrible thing. Uh, do I, uh, I guess we have, do I have to call her to see if she's here? Calling her name isn't going to make her magic appear out of nowhere. Oh, don't say that. Come on, try yelling her name out loud. Why do I have to do it? Like, do, do I actually have to try this? Miss Yukiku, hello? She's not around. Great. I, 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 I had a feeling that wasn't going to work, but, you know. Okay, we had to appease this guy. All right, let's actually talk now. Actually, mm. since we're here, we may as well look around at our surroundings and try to remember what happened. I don't think she's coming today. Uh, I won't go home until I see her. Like, that's, that's just... No, what are you doing? Anything interesting to check? We can check the sky, front of the cliff, ground, Kamada, more ground. Nope, trampled ground. Oh, this grassy area looks heavily trampled. It looks like other areas are, too. Huh? There's a high heel on the ground. Hmm, intriguing. I should hold on this just in case. Okay. Huh, is that a high heel? Did someone drop it? I don't know, but it caught my eye, so I decided to hold on to it. Interesting. The plot thickens. Alright, so someone left this behind. I'm gonna go ahead and gonna go ahead and take a long shot and say take a shot in the dark and say that it's probably Yukiku's. Um since she's the only person the only plot relevant character to the story that we've seen at this cliff so far. It's nice out today. I guess I'll go enjoy the sea breeze. I, okay, <laughs> great. That Dr. Sure is care for you. You know, for someone in such an important position, you really don't seem to give a shit about anybody, really. Like, imagine being so self-centered that you're like, I'm a doctor, and I have patients who need me and depend on me to, for their health, but nah, I'm gonna go bug off and go, go hit on chicks because I'm such a great person, and then I'm gonna get bored after about three seconds of waiting, and then I'm gonna go gawk at the sea. Because that's just how you be a doctor, I guess. Alright, well, this was a pointless side quest. Let's go back to the station, I suppose. Doctor! Now, we, now he can stay here. That's fine. What is it? Did you find her? No, I did not. I just wanted to let you know that I'm running over to the station real quick. Got it. I'll stay here. She may still show up. Okay. Well, we're back at the station. And is everyone still gawking or, or gossiping about the freaking... Uh, did you... Oh my god. Have you just been talking... Do you, do you just wake up every day, come out to the yard and be like, Hey guys, are you are you sick of talking about Kigu yet? No? Hey, me either. Let's talk about it some more. Well, how could you possibly be talking about this still for like three days in a row? They're even rowdier than before. We saw her again last night. No woman in the town would have uh, walked around like that at night. We know when I'm mistaken. It's Miss Kiku. Uh-huh, I'm sure. I'm 100% convinced that you definitely aren't mistaken. I clearly saw Miss Kiku walking toward the cliff last night around midnight. Wait, the cliff? Wait, the cliff? Wait, hey, wait a minute, you saw her walking towards the cliff? As in, the cliff that- the, the only cliff that matters in the story? Because if so, that just made things a whole lot more interesting. I clearly saw Miss Kiku walk toward the cliff last night around midnight. Yeah, you told me that already. Is there anything else you know? No time for that. We really saw her. Please believe me. No time for me asking you what you know, really? How about the legend that you all won't shut up about? We saw her again last night. Yeah, I get it. You, you said that already. You, you, you have anything else? You are, what are you, okay. D these, these people don't have any other conversation topics outside of, We saw her rise from the dead! And that's that, that. That's the extent of their, their conversational abilities. Beyond that, it's like, if you, you ask them to talk about anything else, they're like, Eh? Yes, what? I just, I, I, look, I just want to talk to someone other than them. Do you know anything? Because I'm, I'm going to leave here in a second and go back to the clifftop. I just wanted to find out if you knew anything, really. Uh, so the villagers all seem to be seeing the same thing. I wonder what the villagers said. They probably saw uh, Yukiku wandering about. Because, you know, they might have confused her for Kiku, I suppose. Um, Alright, well, that, that didn't get us anywhere. So let's just head back to the cliff. Since clearly something's going on over there. I guess Miss Yukiku never came by today. It's pointless waiting around here. I wonder where Doctor. I wonder where Kamado went. Uh, it looks like he went right in front of you, like right there. Like he's right there. You can see him right in front of you. We'll just get his attention. Doctor, I don't think Miss Yukiku is going to show up. Let's go home. Can he hear me? He's just staring out to sea. Okay, let's try again. You you know you could just walk up to him. 
Um, what are you doing? Buddy? What- what are you staring at? Hey, doctor! Wait, we have an emergency! There's a woman flo floating in the sea? What? What- what did you say- where? Oh, Jesus Christ. How the hell did you spot that? We need to call the police, right now! Uh, what, are your detective skills not enough to save the day? Oh no, whatever, what do you do? The police came and recovered the woman's body. The woman in the center was Az Azusa? Holy Christ. And another one bites the dust. What the hell is going on with this family? Trevor, I'm gonna head to the Aisha residence and talk with Zenzu. Fine, you, you can go, go fuck off. Actually, wait, no, don't. Well, I mean, I would tell you to go examine the body for an autopsy, but clearly you can't do that to save your life. I spoke to the forensic team for you, so I'm sure they'll answer any questions you may have. I'll leave the rest to you, kid. Oh, what happened to being an Ace detective? Oh no, I guess that's not a thing anymore. Excuse me, why I ask you a few questions? Who are you? Are you involved in this? Ah, oh, you must be Mr. Quanto's assistant, hmm? Huh? No, why do you... I suppose it's okay if you stick around for a while, I just don't get in our way. Good lord, this man's gonna drive me insane. Okay. Well, regardless of who you think I am, you, you have given me clearance of being here, so... Cause of death, time of death, what do you know? She was strangled, there are bruises on her neck. Oh. Okay. And the time of death? I think it happened around midnight. Okay, so maybe... So maybe it wasn't you, Kiku, it was because she said she saw a woman walking here, so it was probably a Souza. She was thrown into the sea after she was murdered. I, we, we gathered that part, thanks. We, we gathered that part all by ourselves. Is there anything else you noticed? Bodies don't usually wash up here. It's, it's a part of the reason why this is a popular suicide spot. But this time it looks like she happened to get caught on some wood that drifted her in. I guess that's a silver lining. Okay. Well, now it's time to actually uh, commence an investigation. It's, it's, if it's okay, you'd like to examine the body. I can't let an amateur touch the corpse. You won't find anything the police didn't already anyway. Yeah, well, the last time you said that you were fucking wrong. So let's let's try that again. Come on, please. Is there any way? I don't care if you're Mr. Kronos' assistant. That means no. Oh, wait a sec. Hey, I knew you look familiar. You're Trevor from Utsuki Detective Agency, right? Man, you're assisting everyone, huh? All right, then. Let's see what you're made of. You can look around, but please don't touch anything. I mean, I wasn't going to touch anything anyway, but... Okay. Sure, if, if you're cool, though, that's all that really matters. Seems like she was strangled in front of a cliff. How cruel. Okay, uh, so what can we examine? Uh, oh, well, uh, okay, so we found the missing shoe. Uh, it's her, uh, where? Yeah, right here. Her high heel is missing. Oh, she's missing a shoe. I, then the high heel I picked up at the top of the cliff. Hey, I found this at the top of the cliff. Oh, great, thanks, we'll take it in. I should check her nails. Oh, looks like she scratched something. You, you, you thought to check that? Are you serious? Hold on a second, I'll need to take a closer look. You're right, there's some human skin under her nails. Seems like she scratched the cobalt when she was attacked. Good job, kid, you have a good eye. I would never have thought to check that. Wow. You've seen enough of the body? Yeah, that was plenty, thanks. That's an incredibly useful clue that I would never have thought to check even a little bit. Wow, okay. Well, since we're down here, can you remember anything from your surroundings? A bunch of people I've never seen have gathered here, too. Oh. Oh, it's the people. Hmm. It's a, it's a, it's a man with a scratch on his face. The scratch looks fresh too. I gotta go talk to him. Wait, wait, aren't those the are those not, are those not the customers from the uh, from the Irish Corporation? All right, let's get him over here. Um, hello, friends. Excuse me, you. What is it? What happened to your face? A cat scratched me. Why do you ask? We found human skin under the victim's nail, suggesting that she scratched the culprit when she was attacked. In other words, the culprit must have a scratch wound. What? Oh, no way. I have nothing to do with this. Please, believe me, you see. I was out drinking late last night, and I got in a fight with Mom. She scratched me. What? You said it, You said the scratch... Unless your cat is named Mom, in which case, um... That's bizarre. I know I messed up, but Mom is something else. Don't worry, his cat's name is Mom. I, I assumed that, because... But, I mean, either way, it's weird. Also, then I happen to see a woman walking around. What? You can't just drop these things on me. I thought it was Miss Kiku, so I was gonna run, but my hips gave out and I couldn't move, but I looked and... It was her. The dead lady. I'm sure of it. Some man was walking behind, trailing her. It was that guy who would visit the Aishu family from time to time. What? What guy? Who would visit? Kanji and Jiro are already dead and Akira's missing, so... Oh, could, it, could the man be... You can't, you, know, you can't just drop that on me. You can't... What? You can't just do that? This man was just like... 
Oh, he is a man that visits from time to time, and then he's like, okay, bye. No! Not as soon as the two other people in his family are... You can't just drop that on me and then not elaborate. <sighs> okay, well, let's talk to good old Zenzu. Uh, Mr. Zenzu? Dr. Kamada told me, Lady Azusa, she died. Yes. Ah, enough of this. Why Lady Azusa too? If only I had stopped her from going out so late after coming home at 11 p.m. Okay, well, since we're here, uh, do we have to ask about Yuri because it's going to tie into, um, that it's going to uh, tie into Kazuto? My only wish is for Lady Yuri to return. Actually, about Yuri, I'm afraid she's already... Oh, heavens no, I don't believe this. The Aishu family is over. However, Yuri had a child. What? Lady Yuri had a child? I was, just, I was just as surprised as you. But the child is missing. Please don't worry, Mr. Sinzu. I promise I'll find the child. That you can't that's a you can't make empty prom they don't make a don't make a promise you can't keep. At this point I feel as though nothing matters anymore. Mr. Zenzu. <sighs> okay. Um Is there anything else we can talk about? Zenzu, I can't continue to investigate for a client who has lost all hope. I'm sorry, I, I better get going. Please wait, I don't know what came over me, please. I knew you'd say that, Mr. Zenzu. I apologize, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, well, I get let's ask about Azusa now. Uh, well, when Azusa returned last night, did you notice anything unusual? Before she left again, she was speaking to someone on the phone. It sounded like they were arguing. Arguing? Do you know who she was talking to? I have no idea. I probably, I probably, would. if I were you, I probably would have asked, like, who were you talking to, Azusa? Since it seemed like you were, if, if she was getting upset about it, I probably would have been intrigued to ask what was going on. Um, do you know anything else? Oh, Lady Azusa habitually took notes while speaking on the phone. She, okay, well then that would have been, people have a habit of bringing something up and then deliberate, like, Conveniently leaving out vital information until later. She took notes, then maybe. What? Maybe we can check the notepad. Yeah, I would have. That would have. Let's let's check her handy dandy notebook. Which is this? Her handy dandy notebook. Looks like it. Nothing's. Oh, nothing's written on it. Never mind. Oh, I see annotations on the. Ah, uh, we're gonna do a little uh, Sherlock Holmes here, where we. Scratch out to the annotations to see what it was, and in which case I'll happily take that. Uh, uh, can I not take the? Oh, I, I can just say what to take, right? I can just do this. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What if I rub a pencil over it? Oh, I can read it now. Hmm. Cliff top, 11:30. Not related to Akira. Almost time to distribute the family fortune. Yuri's child found. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. This is all? Last night, Azusa and the person who she spoke to over the phone planned to, uh, made plans to meet at Unokami Cliff. And that person could be the same person Akira was meeting. And even says Yuri's child has been found. What is this? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the phone's ringing. The phone, excuse me, let me get it. Oh, now you get it. First time, the first time I think the phones rang, the, 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 the detective... Uh, I know, sorry, that someone from the family actually answered the phone, not the detective. Aishu residence. Yes, yes, understood. Sir Magic, Dr. Kamado's calling for you. He said he wants to talk to you, so let's head over right away. Let's? God, let's go. I, I guess you're coming too. Okay. <sighs> I can't wait to see what insightful information Dr. Kamado has for us this time. Oh, Akane's here. Interesting. Uh, good, you're here, and you have Zenzu with you. Perfect. Luckily. Akane's here. I bumped into her earlier, but she looked rather distraught. I got worried, so I brought her over. Akane, are you okay? Oh, Akane, are you okay? Uh, let's find out. Uh, hey, Akane, you wanna, you wanna chat? Not Lady Asusa, too. This is too terrifying. I can't stay in that house anymore. I really wouldn't blame you for saying that. To be honest with you. But, while you're here, I haven't gotten a chance to ask you. Does this look familiar to you at all? That's a yes, she recognizes it. What do you want? Get the thing away from me! 
Mr. Sensu, thank you for all the years. Goodbye. No, 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 no. no. Okay. If you want to quit the Irishu family, that's fine. But before you do, we really need your help. I have nothing to say. No, no, no. You clearly have plenty to say. That you don't, you don't have that reaction. And then say, I have nothing to say. You clearly have something to say. You put the same mirror into Mr. Cuckoo's, uh, Miss Cuckoo's coffin, right? What? There's no way. What is that thing doing here? Akane? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mistress. Please forgive me. Akane, calm down. But I know I put the hammer in the mistress's pocket, so, so, ah! There has there. There's no name for this. There has, to be a there has to be a reasonable explanation for why the hammer is no longer in the grave. I know I don't look it, but I am a detective. You can learn, leave everything to me. Now, Akane, it's important that you tell me everything you know, okay? Please. I'm sorry, I'm the one that killed Mistress Kiki. You. you what?! What? 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 Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. 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 That might be the most, like, subtle, not subtle, but like, nonchalant name, not name drop, but nonchalant dropping of the fact that you killed. Okay. Is, is it possible that it's going to be revealed as it's like, she didn't actually kill her? Because we're talking about smoking, right? So it's like, she, she ended up killing her because she always brought her tobacco and she could have stopped her but didn't. Like, she didn't she didn't physically murder her, she just she provided the tobacco which led to her becoming sick. Is that what this is going to be? Because I find it really hard to believe. Yeah, okay, that's what this is, right? That's what this is? Yeah, okay. Okay, because yeah, alright, whew. Because if, if it was actually going to be that they, 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 they revealed, like, she was the killer all along, in that manner, I was about to be like, whoa, whoa, buddy, wow, I don't know about that one there, chief. That's how the burn mark happened. So you, so you took the tobacco case? Yes, and when I saw the mistress was dead, I immediately hit the pipe in tobacco. And then I called for Mr. Zenzu immediately. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, that's th that is the least of our that is the least of our concerns right now, Akane. Ridiculous! Miss Kiku's heart wouldn't stop over that. As a medical professional, I can pretty much guarantee it. It's not your fault at all, so don't cry anymore, okay? You need to go rest in the mansion. That's like this is of all the things that we have to deal with in this game, that is the least of my concerns. So, what is your reaction to what just happened there, uh, Zenzu? I would like to stay by Akane's side if at all possible. Yes, please do so. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm so, so sorry. Really, Akane, it's not, it's not, I, don't beat yourself up over it. We have so many other things to deal with right now. Scared me for a second there. <laughs> you don't say, buddy. They just casually dropped that she killed her? Like, oh boy, okay, well, since you're here, assume you've heard the news about Asuza? That reminds me, I asked about Asuza's autopsy reports. Uh, nothing stood out. It seems to be a typical strangulation. When Kanji was stabbed by the knife, he was already dead. And for Jiro, it seemed odd that he would commit suicide. Hence, it was likely the culprit killed him beforehand, and that made it appear as though he committed suicide. But for Azusa, she was strangled that she fought the killer off. It's natural to think that they were done by the same person, but I wonder why she was different than the other two. Um, well, be best guess? It seemed like they were, it seemed like if it's the same person, they were cooperating, as evidenced by the phone call, and then when they stopped cooperating, uh, like, she made it to something to be like, no, I'm not gonna do that for you. And then, he was like, oh, well, in that case... Time to commit the big die, and then she, and then he, and then he killed her, not just in the heat of the moment. So there's, there's that. But also, let's, let's talk about this tobacco case, Mr. Medical Expert. Miss Kiku, Azusa, Azusa was trying to ki quit, but it's so hard for people who are truly addicted. Both Kanji and Jiwa were heavy smokers too. According to the autopsy results, their lungs were black. Jesus Christ. Yeah, take this as a public service. Take this as a public service announcement from he, from me. Uh, don't smoke. It's terrible for you. You, don't you you probably don't need me to tell you that but just in case don't do it it's awful it's not good for you it's terrible please don't do that anyway uh I, I keep forgetting to use this can we remember anything oh maybe wait hydrogen cyanide is produced when you introduce other chemicals to a cyanide compound and heat it right heat hmm oh the <laughs> Huh, very clever game to, 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 she lit the pipe, very clever game. And that would explain why it's 
there his fingers were on very clever game very clever game please enter the please enter the answer you've deduced okay uh let's make sure i actually know how to spell t-o-b-a-c-c-o -C -C uh or i can just do this that works too yes that's okay tobacco i see Lighting a cigarette laced with cyanide will cause the gas to be emitted, and anyone who inhales it... Aha! So the cyanide that seeped out of the tobacco got onto Jiro's fingers. I think after Jiro was murdered with the cyanide tobacco, the Copa made it appear as though he killed himself. As for Kanji, he was killed in the same manner, then taken to storage where the Copa could easily stab him. But for Suza, the Copa couldn't use that trick since he, she had quit smoking, so she was... Wait, does this mean that Miss Kiku also died the same way? Trevor, we have to go to Kagura Temple. Laturi Doctor! And suddenly, a lot of things begin to crystallize. Alright, you know what? Because I was gonna... Something I, like, it's been in the back of my mind, I never really made a big deal about it, was it's like, they're making a big deal about the fact that, like, every one of those families is a heavy smoker. Um, and I guess, I, I just thought it was maybe a product of the time, because this game came out in, like, 98, 1998 or something like that. Uh, but, you know what? That was actually a pretty clever payoff. I will give credit to you, game. That was... Pretty clever. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, what's the judge got to say? What's the matter? Do you know what time it is? I did say it'd help, but I can't be. Can it be tomorrow? I'm sorry, but the time is of the essence. Come on, and I told Genshin everything. Oh, apparently not everything. We have to talk to him some more. But all right. If we check Miss Kiku's body, we may find what we need to solve this case. What? Okay, well, do we have to just examine the grave to do this? No, I don't want to do this. We have reason to believe that Miss Kiku may be a victim of the tobacco murders. What? I, okay, do, do we do we just have to open it without him? Like, if he's just going to be stunned to silence, let's just do this. Miss Genshin, Mr. Genshin, our only choice is to... You want to dig up Miss Kiku's grave? Well, I'm afraid I can't allow that. Okay. Well, the... Do I have to talk to you before you do this? Like, what if I ask you about all the other stuff? There's no way that Miss Kiku came back to life like the legend says. You said you're so yourself. Okay. That didn't get us anywhere. Can I say anything to you that'll let, let, let you agree to this? All the rumors about the things that the village claimed to have witnessed. The hand mirror that should still be buried with her. Do you, do you find it at all odd? Like, like I said, it's probably just another hand mirror. Oh my god, what do I have to say to you to get you to agree? But... I'm still going to serve in the grave. I get that, but literally this is our only chance to solve the case. Um, can I just open it, please? I don't know. Please understand how important this is, Mr. Genshin. I can't let the murderer get away with this. Oh, fine, you have a point. Let's call the cops right away. All right, you contact, all right, you contact the police right now. We're finally getting somewhere. We're finally getting somewhere. We're on to this, and I can almost guarantee you that Amachi's gonna be the, who's been messing up everything. It was Amachi all along. Kiku Ayashua, who holds the key to this mystery, is about to be exposed in front of our very eyes. And I'm not, I'm not exactly looking forward to digging up a grave, but this is literally the only chance we have at solving this mystery. Or at least getting the proof we- Oh, what the- What?! Um, what? It's a man's body. This isn't Kiku. What's going on? Who is this man? This is Akira Ashiro. Oh, Jesus. What the? What is going on anymore? We've gone so far down the rabbit hole. Akira was already dead? What? What? Well, it's a damn good thing we dug up the grave. Jesus Christ. Hey, I got some questions for you, buddy. Like, what the fir like, first and foremost, what the fuck? He died from blunt force trauma. Seems like he was struck with the top section of this tombstone. He was struck with the top. Okay. That's how the blood got on there. By the way, we decided not to publicly announce the discovery of the body so we don't alert the murderer. Got it. Jesus Christ almighty, this game. We can't say for sure yet, but it seems like that he was murdered after Kiku. I- j You don't say, buddy. You don't say, buddy. Seem like it was, seems like it's been a while since he was buried. Bodies decompose quite a bit, but more importantly, as you mentioned, we found small tricks of pipe tobacco lace with cyanide in the victim's pocket. Oh boy, howdy. Okay. Um, hey, Kamada. I got some news for you. Wow, this is unexpected. You don't say. Jesus Christ, of all the things I expected to see, that wasn't anywhere in the top 100. Like, 
No chance in hell. Okay. Um. Seems like it's been a while since he was buried. Yeah. Thanks. We, we already knew that. Hey, no matter why you look at it, he was killed before Kanji. What? So it wasn't Akira who killed Kanji? Gee, I wonder who could have told you that about, like, three episodes, four episodes ago, or whatever. Maybe five. I think we're in episode nine, right? I say, like, five episodes ago. Who could have told you that? Uh, I don't know. All right, can we get a look at the body for ourselves? Um, let's see if we can't take a look at the body. I told you Akira wasn't the culprit. He doesn't look anything like the photo I have of him. So this is Akira. I don't really want to get too close. I haven't seen his face somewhere before. Or do I have to remember to find out? Oh, I remember now. The knight. I met him on the top of the cliff. You met him? Huh. I could have sworn it would have been an, would, would have been a machi. That's right, I didn't fall by accident the night Akira attacked me. Well, obviously, we, we, are, we all knew someone attacked you since you met someone there, and then the next thing you know, you were falling to your death. But I could have sworn that it was going to be freaking Amachi. Oh, no, no, I just have so many more questions. What? You were attacked by Akira, so you remember something? Yeah, finally, let's gather our thoughts and go over the facts. But now I just have a question about the, the freaking photo, because the photo doesn't look anything like him. All right, well, let's, let's speculate. Kiku, Kanji, and Jiu were murdered with cyanide tobacco with, by someone who was clearly after Ayushu Corporation. Akira must have been taken advantage of by that person and snuck laced tobacco into Kiku's tobacco case. Alerted to my involvement in the investigation of Kiku's death, Akira called me that night to meet at the cliff. There, he struck me and threw me over the side of the cliff to make sure make it appear like an accident. Huh? Akira, in many ways, was, was, a, was a convenient accomplice for the true culprit, but he also posed a great threat. That's why he was murdered after Kiku. Who do you think is the murderer? And why was Azusa killed too? If I recall, Azusa said that Akira met with someone who the day the will was read. The person must have been... Wait, the phone's ringing. Damn, this is just getting good too. Hello, it's good hanging agency. Yes, he's in hello in a moment. Trevor, it's for you. For me? Maybe it's Zenzu, hello? Hey, it's Gmata, I have big news. What? I found it, a murder case in the past was using a similar method of tobacco poisoning. There was a pharmacist who took out a huge life insurance policy on her husband and killed him the same way. But here, here's where things get interesting. The lawyer who was in charge of that case was... Wait, let me guess. Oh, and suddenly we have found the link between the cases, because the, the linked lawyer would be Kanda. That's not, oh, I don't, don't put a space there. The game might get pissy because there's an extra space there. It's got to be exact. It's Kanda. That's exactly it. I knew it. Then the file that Kanda was reading. Oh, you know? Yes, but I haven't read the contents of the file. And even if that file was pertaining to the incident, it's not self-proof that Kanda killed Akira. Hmm. But thank you so much. This is seriously helpful. Good. I'm amazing. Really a great detective, don't you think? Yes, you are, Doctor. I appreciate it. Now leave the rest to me. Thanks again. You're welcome. Just be careful out there and go solve this case. All right. Look, sounds feels like we're approaching the end game. Feels like we're, we're, we're wrapping up for a finale. Sounds like you made some real progress. So is this the lawyer, Kanda, the culprit? We don't have any proof of that yet, but I think he's our prime suspect. I see. Hmm, I wonder what's going on with the Yumi. She's staring at me. So do I have to examine her to find out why she's staring at me? Is it because of the short sleeves? What's up? Why are you staring at me? I've been curious. If Akira really tried to kill you, then why didn't he just throw you into the ocean? What? You're right. A cliff is a known suicide spot. He could have easily just killed me by throwing me into the ocean. But why? Okay, this this game is getting crazy. I cannot wait. We are clearly rapidly approaching the end game, and I can't wait to find out how this all concludes. Okay, so that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more Famicom Detective Club. Goodbye.